You know, YouTube, if you are going to spontaneously demonetize a half dozen videos of a random content creator, maybe you could notify them when you do that. For those of you who don't know me, I am Viva Fry, a Montreal litigator turned YouTuber. I do these things called vlogs, which are basically breakdowns in law of things that are going on in the real world in terms that can be understood by lawyers and non-lawyers alike. People tend to like them. I use my insight and experience as a lawyer to help people understand what's going on in, say for example, the Nicholas Sandman lawsuit. I explain what defamation is. I explain what's going on in the Julian Assange situation. What an indictment is. What a superseded indictment is. What extradition is. It's a politically neutral, non-opinionated legal breakdown of things that are going on in the world so that people can understand them. And for a while, I was clearly in YouTube's algorithmic good books. I mean, I could see it. A thousand plus subscribers in a day, comments coming in every three seconds. It was great. It was like a beam of God shining down on a mere mortal through a break in the clouds. I've been making YouTube videos for over five years and they were sort of eclectic and all over the place. Family videos, cooking videos, fishing videos. And it was only when I started doing these dedicated vlogs that I noticed consistent engagement and consistent growth. And from April to July of this year, I put on as many subscribers as I put on from 2015 to April 2019. And then Recently, I noticed that there was an objective drop-off in my daily new subscribers, and not one that can be explained by the quality of my content. I don't think I'm any better or worse in terms of the content than I was in April of this year. It was just like falling off a cliff. New subscribers were down 75% over the last month. While I was putting on hundreds and sometimes a thousand new subscribers a day a couple of months ago, now I'm pushing maybe 20 or 30 or 40 new subscribers a day, and I'm not complaining in the sense that like, mm, I deserve something more. It is a clear-cut observation where there has been some change in the YouTube algorithm such that YouTube is simply not promoting my videos. The fact that I'll go one, two, three hours without a comment is totally bizarre given the history of my channel. But all that is a precursor to what I just noticed the other day. Now, I did a vlog on the Epstein situation, and I understand that it is a touchy situation, and I was expecting wholly that that video be demonetized, even though there's nothing controversial or shocking or offensive or politically charged in the breakdown. I could appreciate that that video was going to get demonetized, and sure as sugar, it was. But it was when that video was demonetized that I went back and noticed that multiple videos, close to nine or ten videos that had been previously monetized for months, were arbitrarily and unilaterally demonetized without any notification given to me whatsoever. So I just systematically requested manual reviews of all of those videos that had been monetized for months that were suddenly demonetized, and sure enough, all of them, with the exception of Jeffrey Epstein, which I was wholly expecting, all of them were confirmed suitable for advertisers after manual review. And it got me thinking about how fundamentally unjust and potentially actionable this situation is. If YouTube wants a class action lawsuit, this is one good way to get one, because the class of people affected by this, call it deceitful business practice, can be clearly defined even though their damages will vary from one person to the next. The class itself can be clearly defined. And for those of you who don't know what a class action lawsuit is, it is basically a simplified procedure in order to make a claim where the individual claims would be so insignificant that it wouldn't justify an individual lawsuit, but on an aggregate basis, the damages are substantial and justify a class of people pooling their claims together that are like claims in order to go after an entity where each individual claim would not be sufficiently monetarily interesting enough to do it, or even worthy to do it. Some people could have damages of $2, but nobody's going to go to court to sue over $2. A hundred million people, however, each sustaining damages of anywhere between $1 and $10, then you have a class of people, each with individual claims that are insignificant, but on an aggregate basis, significant, substantial, meaningful, worthy of a lawsuit. And in order to proceed with a class action, one has to be able to define the class. And I'm sitting here thinking, how do we go about defining this class of people who have been prejudiced by this problem within YouTube, because it is a problem and I'll get into it. And the definition of the class that I would go after are a group of people who have had videos monetized and then unknowingly and arbitrarily demonetized, and they did not know that those videos were demonetized and that they were being deprived of revenue that ought to have gone to them when those videos get manually reviewed and then manually remonetized. When I put up a video, if it gets demonetized right away, at the very least I know that it got demonetized, I file a manual review and it either gets confirmed suitable or it gets confirmed not suitable for advertisers, but at least I know right off the bat which videos are monetized and which videos are not. And what happened in my case is that some videos that had been up and monetized for upwards of two months, all of a sudden and unknowing to me, had been demonetized. And YouTube didn't give me any notification whatsoever that these videos that had been monetized, that had been making money for me on the platform, they had decided to demonetize them. 
I don't typically go back to make sure that videos that have been monetized for a week, two weeks, a month are still monetized six months later. But I wake up one day and look to see whether or not the video that I just uploaded has been confirmed suitable or not suitable for advertisers. And just by chance, in flipping through my old videos, I noticed that eight, nine, ten have been demonetized that were subsequently monetized. I file reviews and thus far five of them have been confirmed suitable for advertisers. Had I not looked then, I would have potentially lost revenue for however long it would be before I realized that videos that were monetized were demonetized. You know, and on the one hand, this reeks of something called unjust enrichment in law. Unjust enrichment is sort of a concept where one person is enriched at the expense of the other who is impoverished, and there is no legal or contractual justification for the enrichment of the one at the expense of the impoverishment of the other. Typically, you see unjust enrichment in situations of common law spouses, married couples, couples where you have one person working for the business of the other, and then that business flourishes, and then the couple splits up or the couple gets divorced, and you have the one person who never had any legal interest in the company being cut out of the increase in value of that company simply by virtue of the fact that the relationship has come to an end. That is the most typical and oversimplified case of unjust enrichment. And in cases where there has been unjust enrichment, the person so enriched has to compensate the person that has been impoverished because they benefited from that person's impoverishment for no better reason. And it's a well-known fact that even on videos that are demonetized where the creator gets limited or no ad revenue, there are still ads being run on those videos. They may be ads that generate far less revenue for the content creator, and they may be ads that don't generate any revenue for the content creator. Because I know for a fact that even on the videos that have been confirmed inappropriate for advertisers, people see ads on those videos. And I, as a content creator, get a couple of dollars for the hard work, research, and effort that I put into a video. YouTube as a platform continues to grow, continues to build its brand, continues to generate ad revenue, even though it's not filtering down any meaningful amount, if any, of that ad revenue to the content creators off of whose back they are making that money building their brand. And this goes back to a question I dealt with in a couple of other videos a little while back, right around the same time I noticed this radical drop off a cliff, is whether or not YouTube is a platform or a publisher. Whether or not YouTube should benefit from the legal immunity that is granted to it under the law when it is clearly acting as a publisher and not strictly a platform. We've talked about that in previous vlogs. I'll link some of the videos right here. But the questions that come up in this is how does this happen that a video that had been monetized for months is suddenly unilaterally and without notice, demonetized. It can't be the initial verification process because the video had been up for months. And what I suspect happens is that people flag the videos as inappropriate and then YouTube's algorithm goes and determines whether or not it's going to demonetize the video. No human process involved in this. It's just an algorithm responding to a flagged video that has been flagged by a YouTube viewer. Okay, fine. So YouTube's algorithm responds to a flag of a user who thinks that a video is inappropriate or it offended them so that it shouldn't be advertiser friendly. Okay, they can at the very least notify the content creator so that the content creator can mitigate their damages, can take the appropriate course of action if they think that the video has been improperly demonetized. That's not a hard process to set up. It seems common sense that that should be the de facto MO when it demonetizes a video that has previously been monetized. I mean, it's so common sense that when the video is confirmed suitable for advertisers, we get a notification. Congratulations, good news, after manual review, your video has been deemed to be advertiser friendly. They have an automatic response email that you get when your video is approved. Why would they not have an automatic notification when your video has been demonetized? I'm not pitching any alternative theories as to why they would do it, I don't really think there's any real benefit for why they wouldn't do it. It's just a glitch in the system. The whole thing about demonetizing a video that has been monetized for an extended period of time is a glitch in the system. The fact that they don't notify the content creator is a glitch in the system. Whether or not it shows a lack of respect to the content creators, etc., etc., doesn't matter. I'm not getting into that. It's strictly a matter of fact. When a video has been demonetized, the system is in place where the content creator can and should be notified that their video has been demonetized. And as far as I'm concerned, it is a sanctionable action. Because when a video is monetized and monetized for an extended period of time, it creates a relationship between the parties, and when one party unilaterally decides to change a substantial and perhaps the most substantial condition, the other party needs to be notified. It's simply a question of fairness. In a partnership, when the content creator has been partner verified, I am a partner with YouTube. They have to tell me when there has been a material change in our partnership, one which deprives me of the revenue for my hard work in making these videos. Okay, rant over. I gotta go upstairs and eat breakfast. The kids are waiting for me. If you do like my content and you like these videos, be sure to like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, drop a comment in the comment section, share my channel. It's clear that YouTube's algorithm is sort of penalizing, deranking, whatever. It is not promoting my channel, recommending my channel the way it once was. It's obvious from new subscribers on a daily basis. It's obvious from the comments. One thing I've also noticed is that thousands of comments are being flagged as inappropriate and being put to the inappropriate comment section, and I simply can't get there to read all of them and approve the ones that are appropriate that have been improperly flagged as inappropriate. Whether or not this is part and parcel of the same problem, I don't know. Okay, that's it. Now you know your vlog. Peace out. Booyah!